Hey YouTube, um, <clears throat> this is Kevin and this is uh, tutorial 3, it's a carry on from tutorial 1 and 2. Um, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to uh, configure Telnet and in the previous tutorials I said I'd show you how to encrypt all passwords. So I'm going to do that in this tutorial too. Um, so the idea is um, I want to set up Telnet so PC1, PC2, router 2 or R1 can all Telnet to uh, R1 or R2. So let me get to it. Um, uh, conf T. Um, so when you type in LAN VTY, um, you, you specify how many sessions you want to be able to have. Uh, default or what, what Cisco teaches you to normally use is 0 to 4. On Cisco switches, it could be anywhere from 0 to 15. Okay, so <clears throat> you, you say activate line VTY uh, 0 to 4. Uh, say password and the password you want to enter. I want to say Kevin. And then you need to specify a login. If you don't do this, you're going to have some troubles. Okay, and we'll do the same on this router. But first, let's try Telnet to R1, which is 10.1.1.1. So Telnet 10.1.1.1. And as you can see, it prompts you with the password. So Kevin, and you can see we're in uh, R1 now. And we could uh, escalate ourselves. And now we could see uh, R1's routing table. We could also see the routing, R1's uh, routing interfaces. You can see it's uh, it's got two interfaces, um, and they're both up and up. The first up means uh, it refers to the physical layer, and the second up refers to the type of protocol. For instance, uh, if you're using frame relay um, and you're using uh, you know P2P or uh, you know one of the common ones if this is down one of the common areas is clock rate is not set on one of the DCE routers just a little heads up anyway so let's uh, set up uh, let's exit okay so let's set up uh, router 2 for telnet line bty04 password kevin login um, and uh, so so this this will work and then remember I told you about encrypting all passwords that you did um, to do that I believe it's service service what is it password encryption this will encrypt all passwords so you have control C uh, show run you can see here the password for line VTY is encrypted even though we didn't specify it originally that we wanted encrypted so on this one we haven't done service encryption yet service password encryption yet so if you go show run and you check out over here where we set line password line VTY telnet uh, the password still in plain text so if we want to encrypt that we go um, and we say um, service password encryption and it's now encrypted so let's see if we can tell it from pc1 to let's see if we can tell me to router 2 from pc1 and see if that will work i haven't tried this in a while let's see what happens 10.1.1.2 yeah there we go you can access you can access router 2 from there so i hope this was a uh, a useful tutorial for you and um, you know just if you're interested in the series just stick with it um, I'm gonna be doing less and less in each tutorial so I can have more time to explain stuff to you okay um, thank you for watching